Welcome back to another video, guys. Today is a really exciting one. I was invited to be a part of this YouTube fantasy build challenge uh, this time. There's been a bunch of these in the past, and I was invited to do this one, so I'm super excited about it. Now, I, I think I took this build a uh, different route than a lot of people did. Um, fantasy challenge is the only guidelines for this thing. Uh, and I decided to take it in a route to where not necessarily fantasy as far as like Lord of the Rings and, you know, that kind of stuff. More my fantasy build to what I have been thinking about and wanted to build for a long time. So I sat down with my wife. I had her sketch up this design that I'm going to show with you guys right now. And then I'm going to take you along for the ride and see if I can pull this off. This is way out of my wheelhouse but it's something that I've wanted to build for a long time. Let me grab this design and see what you guys think. All right, we had to buy a big piece of paper for this. So this is what I'm going for. Now you can see, this is a giant hog splitter cleaver. Uh, it's gonna have about a 15 inch cutting edge. I believe it's 30, 638 overall length and you can see here in the drawing I'm going to try to get a hamon finish on that blade. Now this is going to be a huge challenge for me. Look at this piece of steel. I picked up from New Jersey Steel Baron and this is a quarter inch thick piece of W2 which um, in my experience, I can sometimes get a cool hamon with that. Now, you guys know I love cleavers. I've got a bunch of different cleaver designs. And the big hog splitters are something I've always been really interested in. So we came up with this design. And fingers crossed, I can pull this off. I only have a couple weeks to build it. Um, I've got a lot of weird things I have to figure out that I'll touch base with you along the way on this build. But... I really hope you guys enjoy this, and hey, if it turns out cool, make sure you guys vote for me. Let's get into the build.
All right, we successfully heat treated this giant. I quickly cleaned up the flats just to kind of see what it was gonna look like. And I'm not sure how much of that hamon we're gonna have. Uh, heat treat got out of hand a little bit. The whole shop was on fire. I'm not sure how much of that I'll put in this video. But anyways, if you guys are enjoying this build, make sure you take two seconds and subscribe to the channel. Uh, whether you're a knife maker, or just a knife hobbyist in general. I put out a ton of knife related content. So anyways, back to it. We're gonna get this thing finished ground, probably take it from a 36 grit up to a, probably a 180, and then work on the hand sanding and finishing process. So, all right guys, it's looking pretty cool. Turned out good and straight. Let's get into it. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad Shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging on till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the thrown back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call it shoplift Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thought of this Taste the pain, it's like candy canes It makes me go change into a better frame Into a better name, society's insane We all live for fame, yeah Cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gon' live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, do it no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, baby, I'm bad
table's a little low. Should I go for right for the center? I would. You ready? Yep. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Looking good, Mom. <laughs> Hard, ready? Well guys, this thing made quick work of those pumpkins. I, um, I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. The weight of it's really good, super sharp, uh, feels really cool, heavy. I didn't get a weight on it though. I'm sure everybody's gonna ask me what this thing weighs. I guess, you know, seven, eight, nine pounds would be my guess. But if you enjoyed this build video and think the Cursed Cleaver turned out cool, make sure you go vote for it. There's gonna be links below in the description of this video to be able to vote for it and also check out everybody else's uh, fantasy challenge build. I'm excited to see what everybody came up with, um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And like always, thanks for watching.